Well, tonight, millions of Americans are waiting with bated breath for any sign that that student loan debt relief could be coming their way. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Roly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Woodard. While that information is still being discussed, new questions are coming up every day. THV 11's Ian Russell brings us some answers. With that announcement of student debt relief by the Biden administration, there are still a lot of questions that a lot of you have right now, including on if you can be taxed on that relief. Well, I went to some experts to find out. There are few people who enjoy doing their own taxes, and even fewer enjoy doing other people's taxes, unless you're Latasha McKinney. I've been doing taxes about 30 years. There's not nothing we can't handle. But there's new challenges ahead for the Biden administration's announcement last week on student debt relief. Like many others, she says she couldn't believe it. I was excited <laughs> for me and my daughter. <laughs> but there was something else she's thinking about, how it affects her work, and everyone out there is still left with questions. A big one right now, could that relief money be taxed? The very last report I received, Arkansas was on the list of where it could very well be taxed at the state level. According to the Tax Foundation, a nonprofit based in Washington, D.C., Arkansas is among 12 other states considering taxing that loan relief. That foundation lists Arkansas as possibly having a maximum tax of $550, although McKinney says that number is kind of hard to predict. It's also hard to predict when this will happen. While the Biden administration announced the plan for this relief, there haven't been any updates as far as implementation of this. McKinney says her best guess is the end of the year, saying that tax updates usually happen between October and December. So even though that was released just last week, don't expect anything this week to just say you have a zero balance, you know, or you, you know, you have a less balance than what you did. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THB 11 News. Now remember that loan relief is 10,000 for many applicants and 20,000 if you're the recipient of a Pell Grant. This only applies to federal loans, not private loans. We've got more information over on THB 11.com.